Good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Pan Pizza Day. Pan Pizzas, two 12 inches for $5 total. We're going to put together a pizza crust mix that is made from garlic herb pizza crust mix that I got for 75 cents at a wholesale food supplier. Uh, this is uh, low carb and it's pre it's pre GMO. It's from 2000. This was produced in 2000. That's 17 years old. Um, I'll let you read the box and check it out. Got a little olive oil going into it. Uh, not on early, no. This is a five o'clock startup. Old is gone. This is good, good quality, uh, wholesome, non non carb. There's very low carbs in this dish. It's considered a 85% uh, fewer carbohydrates. It has 18 grams of protein and four grams of fiber in this mix. This mix has a, a, enough in it for, a, I think it's two 12 inch pizza dough crusts. So we're going to start making the pizza dough. Oh, Sarah's look, you're looking at the breadboard. That's kind of a different look, a nice wood look. We have lots of food uh, to put away from, you know, right around 2000 to 2013. This we picked up in 2010, I believe. I have no idea. What well, says used by? Let's not even go there. Why not? Whatever. Used by 2005. So it's 12 years beyond its due date. But you can buy fresh dough at, like I said, Safeway sells at the bag for a buck. Yeah, it's already ready to go. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's like a dollar fifty for a thing of pre-made. This is seventy-five cents, but I mean, don't. Yeah, it's supposed to be eaten by two thousand five. It has three grams net carbs. So, if you're a low-carb person, this is the way to go. It's got a soy uh, pre non-GMO, non-GMO cornstarch in it. And I don't. I don't know if you can see that. Really hard to see that. You'll have to take my word for it, but it, it says oh, I no. I can't. No, you can't microwave. Not with this on. She's going to preheat some. Turn the temperature up to high on the other one in there. No, just go ahead and heat it on the microwave. We need to get some hot water to mix the uh, dough. Yeah. So make sure it's set for high. I sometimes drop that temperature to defrost. Hi, Jackson. Uh, I don't need a job. I, I live comfortably on my uh, on my savings. And Sarah likes to work because she wants to save money for her retirement. And I did that already. So, Nope. You want to see my mother's old food, though? I do. <laughs> I do have something my mother bought back in 1973. I thought I'd show you. It's a hot roll mix from 1973, Pillsbury. I remember buying this. And it's sat in the box since 1973. It's been in my cupboard. Isn't that amazing? And it has a recipe for pizza on it. So, yeah. It, it, believe me, the wheat, as long as there's nothing growing in it, the wheat's still good. Oh, yeah? But I showed him my mom's old old box of uh, hot roll mix. <laughs> so he said, yeah, you're going to use your mom's old box of hot roll mix, Dave. We got some battle cam problems over there. Okay, so hopefully you guys are watching on uh, either stream. I remember you. You tipped me off about the DNC before I went to the uh, whatever. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. And right. and believe me, the stuff about the DNC, the Awan brothers, all becoming very serious. Okay, so what does the box have in it, Sarah? Uh, just, I don't know whatever flower stuff it is. This flower... Of flour packet. So it says place contents of flour packet into mixing bowl. And one packet of rapid rise yeast included. Do you want me to get the bowl out? I got it. Add three tablespoons of olive or vegetable oil. Add one cup of hot water. Stir, then gently knead the dough. Divide into two equal batches. Return to bowl. Cover and allow to stand for five minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get that that flour in the bowl. Go ahead, drop it in there. Make sure there's nothing in the bowl, like small rodents or uh, gerbils or something. There's no dust in the bowl. It's clean. Everything's clean. It's all been cleaned. Yeah. I'm a frugal dude. I'll show you how to save enough to live comfortably. Huh? Yep, I'm going to switch her bowl, and we're going to put the bowl in front. There you go, yeah. And you got extra virgin olive oil going in that, that dinner. And this dinner is going to call for uh, mozzarella cheese, one package of for $1.99 of shredded mozzarella, which you can get readily. I configured a dollar for the crusts. That's three ninety nine, or no, two ninety nine. Then we have a can of uh, olives. Everyone likes olives. That's another dollar. So we're at three ninety nine. This is thirty three cents for no salt tomato sauce. So I'm at about four forty five. Adding an onion and a red pepper for a total of five dollars. Pretty good deal, huh? There is one added thing. We have meat. And for all of you Muslims and Jews, we made it so we we're going to put turkey bacon in here. So there's no pork in this dish. And the turkey bacon I got is very reasonable, and I highly recommend doing this. I use a product that I get. I look specifically for this when I'm looking for sale items. And uh, like this Genio right here. Normally, it's a uh, four dollars for packages, like three ninety nine. I got it for a dollar ninety nine, and I only use a, a third of the package, so it's not even a dollar's worth. I happen to have a little piece here from a previous one that I've been cutting off, but I've done this before. You you take the piece and and you can leave whatever you don't need in the freezer. And I pulled off this section. I'm going to have two more of these about that size for the meat. So, while Sarah's uh, preparing the dish of of flour and three tablespoons of virgin extra virgin olive oil, I'm going to take this knife and actually cut right into the package, like that, an extra two pieces. Now, I'll show you how easy this is. I cut right through the package. See that? You just pop out the section you need, like that. So that combined with the other will give me enough bacon to put on all of this. Everyone wants meat on their pizza. Oh, I can do it in a second. I'm just going to cut it over here. And, uh, and then you take this piece and just put it right back in a plastic bag and put it right back in the freezer, and you're good to go. Okay, I don't know why the uh, the chat seemed to freeze, but hi. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not sure why the chat froze. Are you just captivated by my wonderfulness? We seem to have a, a chat freeze here. Can can any can you see me? Anybody? Hmm. That is weird. No one's chatting. Well, it's just, we're not sure chatting even works here. That is very strange. Okay, Sarah's mixing that up. Well, I'm going to take a look at the chat options. Let me go to the long chat room and just refresh. Maybe it was a problem reloading. Here we go. Yeah, Dave, it's the Russians. Okay, now I've got chat. Thank you. We've got chat on a sunny day. Okay, so Trump is going to probably end up losing uh, his position as president because of his obvious... Connection with the Russians. 
it took you 20 times to get in here to see what's happening. And there's people that are just really, really at their wits end trying to get into the show. You've got a lot of hate against black people. And, and as you know, we're trying to make this uh, Muslim and Jewish friendly this entire dinner. Just so you know, we don't dislike Muslim or Jewish people who happen to believe in something different. It's buffering like crazy. Wow. Well, folks, if you have any problem getting in here, please, I, I would urge you right now, I'm going to shut guest chat off if this continues. Yeah, if you continue saying these bad things. Yeah, we're going to shut you. If you keep this up, we're, we're done with guest chat. Yeah, if that's your goal. Ah, yeah. Okay. Good for you now. Go to America's third party dot com and you'll have instantaneous real live video that matches this is the jacket that david jansen uh, wore in the fugitive it's the exact replica of david jansen's jacket it happened to be one of my favorite shows i want to remind you that david jansen one of the greatest actors of all times very soft-spoken man quiet hey boink i am prepared to go guest off if you keep it up that means the whole show will be recorded without guest chat while Sarah needs the bread. This is the, the dough, and you're, you're seeing an expert baker. Well, she goes, yeah, right. An expert baker need the bread. So, yeah, look for these really good deals on, on turkey bacon. Whenever you see it marked down like this, $2 off, buy all of the packages that you can. I bought six packages when I saw it. Well, I've got people coming in all the time. It's it's good. The the turkey bacon is effing the the this the kind. It's what you really want. Yeah, it's got that t bacon taste without all the religious overtones of pork. Yeah, Mark said he'd have old up for two months, and it's only been like three weeks. There is no pizza failure here. This is this is a plan to actually fix. Your, your budget problem. A lot of you are running out of money because you keep going down to Papa Murphy's and getting the uh, the pizza with your food stamps. And it's like, well, honey, it's only nine ninety nine for a 12-inch. Oh, well, save your food stamp money and buy some food with it. And isn't Papa Murphy's got a, an advantage over Papa John's? Papa Murphy's, you can buy it with food stamp money, and Papa John's, you can't. Isn't that unfair? Yeah, but I mean, when you think about it, it yeah, just seems unfair. But it seems unfair that Papa Murphy's gets all this food stamp money and Papa John's doesn't. But I'm not complaining. I'm not an owner of Papa John's. So. Well, if Papa John's wanted it, I guess they would have to meet the kind of restrictions. You can actually buy a, I believe, a Little Caesars has a pizza for $5 on a certain day. We are not in favor of racial slurs here, so please stop doing that. No, this isn't the cinnamon roll mix. This is the uh, low carb mix I picked up in 2003, which is good till 2005. So we just waited 12 extra years to cook it. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, I told you no bad words against black people. All right. Show some respect, man. Nothing's happening tonight, Patrick. Yeah. You planning an attack on the show? Okay, here comes guest chat off. Now we can have some semblance of normality here. <sighs> Thanks, Jessica, for coming in. I realize we've had our differences, but as you can see, Patrick's not having any buffering because he's running out of America's third party.com. Thanks, Patrick, for uh, checking our site out. So isn't this calming to see Sarah manipulate the, the dough? You think there needs to be any more water or are you good? I think it may need a little bit more water. You don't think so? Let me do it. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't know. They wanted me to get my hands dirty. You want to do it? No. Yeah. <laughs> She's willing to knead the bread that goes into the crust that makes the pizza. And we've got two pans here. Twelve inches. Well, I can aggressively knead. I mean... Oh, well, see, she doesn't say aggressively. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to take a uh, an atomizer, and this is an oil atomizer, folks, if you've ever used one. They're very effective at saving oil. Now, you can imagine how, how much exercise this is. Some of you have, you like that exercise. So, so your, your wife says, honey, what do you do, take a jog? Well, no, I worked out. I, I was working my, my oil atomizer. We've got plenty of pressure in the oil atomizer, honey. So I'm going to take this little atomizer and spray this pan. I hear, I hear the sound of the oil on the pan all the way around. Nice little oil base. That's the sound. And I use extra virgin olive oil. It's the sound of the atomizer on the oil pan. Okay, there she goes. Now, the nice thing about this new wave convection oven that we're experimenting with is... It cooks things really fast. I mean, we made a chicken in like 40 minutes, a whole chicken, and it takes the heat and circulates it with a fan. Now, I'm going to show you what this new wave thing looks like right over here. Yeah, the new wave. It's the new wave of cooking here. It's a complete unit that you can you can carry this on a on a road trip if you wanted to, you know, cook portably. It's very lightweight. And it's a pretty dang good uh, way of doing it. I was thinking of picking one up. Yeah, you saw it over, over at Home Depot. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, they're on sale during the Christmas season for like $29. Oh, please don't bring up other competitive pizza brands while I'm cooking my, my pizza. Thanks. You're making me feel pizza phobic. Live views are, uh, are not censored. Uh, we try to keep everybody rolling along here. We just don't allow, allow racism here. I'm not anti-Semitic, and I don't dislike black people or Muslims. I'm not here to drive a wedge between various groups of people. I, I'm here, unlike Trump, I'm here to unite the country. Well, there's chatting. Yeah, 1.6 billion down payment on the border wall is just, a drop in the bucket. Its estimate costs are about $50 billion. And there's no way Donald Trump's going to scrape that amount of money when he checks out how much Medicaid is costing him. My view counter is, is zero. Trump basically, I think Trump is paying Mark to censor us. I personally do. Okay, we got a five minute rise time on this. And by the way, our show time may be delayed because this pizza is far more important than our show. Yeah, I'm going to show everybody Can how. Can we go outside and get some oregano? Oh, could you? That would be great. we got some fresh oregano growing in the garlic, in the garden. Unless you want to talk to the camera while I go get it. Sure. Okay. Sarah's going to talk to the camera while I go get it and give you guys. She's got a five-minute time to. Want me to start uh, while I'm talking about do some cutting of the onion? Yeah, well, I'll have you peel an onion. How's that? Okay, I'll peel an onion. Okay, here's an onion. Okay. And these are organic onions, by the way. I know, isn't that kind of crazy, young president? Well, why don't you just talk to the people who own the trees of the fruit that's growing? And if you just ask them, they might actually say, yes, please take all of our fruit because we don't like to see it rot. Well, Dave is going to, we're going to add more oils and the buttery crust for the pan pizza. Yes. Okay, so start by, oh, I don't know if you can see that because David has the other one in front. There we go. So you had to use organic basin, basil leaves oh, for your things. Yeah, I think you need basil. But yeah, I would do organic basil if I had a basil plant. But even though I see the basil plants, they're only good for a certain amount of time. Do 
does David have another jacket? No, he doesn't. Actually, it's not the same one. He went and found another jacket exactly like the one he normally wears, or the one he used to wear, or whatever. So he found one exactly like the one he owns. So actually, it's not the same jacket. It just looks like the same jacket. Maybe it has similar stains. I don't know, but it's not actually the same jacket. Crush some garlic and use spinach too. I don't know if I have spinach. And I don't really like spinach on my pizza because I often find that spinach kind of makes pizza soggy. That's just my personal impression. The David did buy, I told him to buy mozzarella. And then I said, we went to the store today. And I said, don't forget to buy some mozzarella. And then he went, I said, I'm going to just sit in the car while you go to the store. And he was, I guess, upset a little bit because I, he wanted me to go into the store with him. I don't really know. Did he buy fresh mozzarella? Well, yes, yeah, he bought. Well, he bought the mozzarella today. We didn't have any mozzarella because when we have cheese in the house, I tend to eat it all. I have a weakness for uh, things that start with the letter C H or C C. Just C. Chocolate, cheese, cake, cookies, candy. Ice cream. Uh, I wish Black Kitty. I wish I could give up. All right. So yeah. David Stricky taught me about cutting the onion. Cut it in half first. All the pressure is in. And I have this really good. Amazing. Canton Zero Herb that I picked up at a herb store. This is essentially a, an Italian mix. This jacket is incredible. I, I, I found this jacket for a dollar. I told you it wasn't the same one. They said, what's David doing wearing the same jacket for eight years? I said, actually, it's not the same jacket. He just found one exactly like his jacket. Yeah, for a dollar. Yeah. I don't ever do that, no. All right, do you want to get banned? You got banned. There you go. Okay, uh, we've got a, uh, a wonderful opportunity now to, to test the new wave. Good night, Patrick. Go to bed. Get the hell out of here. See you later. Patrick decided to take off for the night. Yeah, really. Needs that person here. All right, so we've got old doesn't work anymore, scissor fight. Hey. Well, marijuana's proven to be medicinal, but Sarah has never smoked marijuana. And she just never wanna do she doesn't ever want to try anything, which is fine, you know. I, I know, really, I'm just like an old boat here. No, it's the rate it's actually perfectly fine to never ever try that product. But in states that are legalizing it. Uh, it is fantastic. It really has benefited so many people. And the state of Washington has already made $400 million in revenue in two years. And that helps. $400 million is going to go to help programs for kids and wayward families. This is going to be added to our YouTube channel later tonight at 2 in the morning, yes. Yeah, I have a big container of garlic. Yeah, sir. Uh -huh. start yeah, I'm gonna start cooking this right now. We'll get the. Uh, is this risen enough? It's five minutes. Well, I think it stays a little bit longer. Okay, a little longer on the rise. But go ahead. You can start the cooking of the garlic and the onions. Okay. All right. Let me move this over here to the stove area. I'm gonna turn the back burner on level three. I'm gonna get the burner warm just beforehand, but I got this great container of garlic. California garlic, all you can eat. Five bucks, five ninety nine for this whole container. That was a pretty good deal. Yeah, I got that going on. 
Uh, we're, we're extending out our show today, so we'll be working a little bit longer into the uh, 6 o'clock hour. Uh, what you're looking at is turkey bacon. And I'm going to grab that and uh, take and cut it down the middle a little bit. One more slide. Now, was that easy or what? You can see how, how easy this is. Now that the pan is a little bit warm, you know, not quite. I'm going to take it up to level four. Once it's warm, I'm going to put a little oil on it. We would never cook with spam here. There's an anti-spam policy here. Thank you, Jessica. That's so kind of you to say that. And in no way do I ever uh, want to imply that anything bad will happen to anybody who loves Jesus. Okay? Thank you. That's for Jesus. For God. Well, I'm not here to decide what, what the fate of people, you know. It's not my place. I have 200 million viewers on UHF, UHF Plus, and VHF. Welcome, viewers, all around the world. This turkey bacon product is... Uh, is a peaceful product because it doesn't drive a wedge between Muslims and non-Muslims or Jewish people. And, and you could all sit there and have a turkey pizza slice and not worry about hating each other, you know? I think turkey bacon's gonna unite the world myself. One, one of the key reasons I, I believe turkey bacon is succeeding as a product. Okay. Go ahead and put about three tablespoons of oil in there. Well, that's close enough. Close. We can all dispute about how much I just poured in there, but throw the onions in there on the on the oil, and take that bacon and throw that in there too. Real simple, just and then dice this real real fine. <laughs> it's a topper. You gotta cook with the other. We'll add the sauce a little bit later. I pulled up a, a jar of uh... This is some old Southwest salsa in a jar. I mean, you can use this kind of thing with, combine it with the no salt tomato sauce that they sell at Walmart for 33 cents. Yeah, and then you can put some, yeah, oregano. Italian seasoning, my uh, Canton Zero Herbs, which is a blend of, a perfect blend of garlic, lemon peel, marjoram, basil, Mediterranean thyme, rosemary, and oregano. In the mix, and what I'll show you what I do with my old can of salsa, see that? There's not that much salsa in there, but it's kind of thick and, and has some substance to it, so I'm just going to put about a half a teaspoon of this Canton Zero mix in there. And then I take the non-salted tomato sauce and just pour it right in there like that, see? And because I want to get all of it, I put a little dash of water in the container. It's on the left, I think. I'll get it. Here, you can take over the camera here. I'll find it. Okay, then take this can and just this jar and just mix it up. And there's your low salt pizza, pizza sauce, without having to spend money on extra pizza sauce. Big difference. Good to know. Yeah, never water down pizza sauce. So it's already thick from the previous one. So luckily I didn't put a lot of water in there, but you're right, good point. Absolutely. I'm getting a little bit warm in this David Jansen from the Fugitive jacket, so I'm going to take it off and reveal my studly body. Amber is running around the house. She's also excited. Yeah. All right. Let me see if I can... Uh... Hey, everybody, what's going on? Nice and cool now. Hey, I think I need a little bit of a uh, fruit enzyme on my face. I'll try not to get it on in the food right now. Oh, so refreshing. It's like a day spa in your kitchen when you spray your face with fruit enzyme. 
I mean, how many people in the world use fruit enzyme on their face? I mean, seriously. Wow, something's cooking. Oh, good. Let me get my handy dandy spatula. Okay, I'm going to take that level up to six and put the rest of the onions in there. Do you need the thin slice here for a reason? You want me to chop those now? I thought that was going on the top of the pizza. Oh, okay. This is all going on the top of the pizza. You pre cook the onions whenever you put them on. Okay, I'll just chop them all up. All the bacon and the. Uh, Everything goes on top of the pizza. And the oregano goes in there too. Yeah, I think I think we both have a different concept of how to cook. So since since I would rather not uh, you know make a big deal about it, I can do a little rolling on this. You don't mind? Yeah, go ahead. Take it over here. Let's put this roll down here and we're gonna roll this pizza pit. Out really well because we have to pre cook this. And right now, this is not a 12 inch pizza. He's going to make it into a 12 inch pizza. Yeah, it's got to be thin and low carb. Yes. There we go. Sorry, did it get there? You want me to turn it for you? No, I think we're almost there. To make it more circular? Yeah, we. So far, so good, David. Thank you. Jessica loves pizza says. I think this might be one of those pizzas that may not be perfectly round. Well, that's why I said I can turn it. You can pull it apart. Here, I can turn it. All right. Turn it and then go to the new one. All right. There you go. We're going to do two of these pizzas. So we're going to start the first one off. You want to preheat the new wave oven? No. This looks really good, sir. As long as it's plugged in, just make sure it's plugged in. Let's start with that. Okay. Perfectly. Oh, look at that. I know, I think I might have a 12 incher here. That's what she said. All right, look at that. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think I got a 12 incher here, buddy, ma'am. All right, 12 inch pizza crust coming up. Well, maybe 10. That's close enough. Okay, she's going to throw that in the new wave cooker. Stretching it out as much as possible. And that has to be pre cooked for five minutes. Okay, you're good. I think that's close enough. Yeah, that'll be good. Go ahead and throw that in there. We try to make this entire cooking experience as stressful as possible for everybody. <laughs> I'm going to throw some garlic in there. Oh, my garlic is back in there. Yeah, I did that. Why did you put the garlic well, I didn't know. I asked if it was No, not even start. Okay, we're going to put a tablespoon of garlic in the sauce, a heaping tablespoon. That saves a lot of time, folks. I'm going to cover that cook and let it cook really fast on level four. Okay. Five minutes on one piece of crust. And the idea is to get the pizza crust to cook so we can, the top is cooked and then we're ready to flip it over and then add the ingredients. And we're going to top this with a beautiful, fresh, organic mozzarella we picked up for $1.99. I got enough for two containers. Yeah, well, that's California garlic. It's not made in China. 
the difference is Chinese garlic is kind of like the Chinese chicken that Trump is now importing into the country, the chickadee China, the Chinese chicken. This California garlic doesn't have the glyphosate levels that the Chinese garlic has. Which makes you wonder why Trump would allow Chinese chicken into our country. Yeah, I do have some, uh, no, I don't carry bleach. I don't believe in it. I'm getting really thirsty. So I'm going to have a big glass of water. This is a not non uh, stressful situation because we don't have a time constraint. We're going to start our show a little later. Scissor five said extra sharp is good on a pizza. Oh man, that's good. Whoa. Ah. Fresh water. We just found out our area where we live is nestled between two toxic Navy waste dumps. The Navy has been dumping flame retardant on the jets with no regard for the environment for decades. And they just tested the ground 10 miles north and 10 miles south of me. And it's got 400 times the level of carcinogenic flame retardant in the water. So we're kind of nestled in a community that has pretty decent water considering. And then we triple filter our water. So it's kind of amazing how, you know, I, I'm going to open the window. You're right. Somebody said it must be hot in your kitchen, dude. I said, yeah, you're right. That's so true. Now, there we go. Somebody said they can see my, my intelligence in my wrinkled forehead. Do you read forehead wrinkles? Are you a forehead wrinkle reader? Hey, we, we did a, a site check around the area to see how many of our signs are still up. Get this. They're trying to raise my taxes 35%. And they're trying to do it in the middle of the summertime. And Sarah and I distributed 30 signs in the area. 50% of them were taken down in two days. Stolen. Half of my signs were stolen in two days. And we've got an election five days from now. So I'm, I was telling Sarah, do we print up 30 more and continue doing this? And I said, no. Yeah, we couldn't believe it. The people just grab the signs and they stick them in the back of their trunk. That's how corrupt these people are here. Yeah, it, you know, it's a little bit much to pay for a security camera for every sign, don't you think? <laughs> how much we spent for the sign. Yeah, we got the signs uh, for $30, and the rest is just labor. So 30 signs for 30 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. 11 by 17, full color. I do have an osmosis system. I have a reverse osmosis system. Let me show it to you while Sarah's working on that. I can get that worked out, too. Down here is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it now. Uh, it's pretty hard to see. It's under the sink. I'm going to turn that down to low. Simmer. That bacon's almost ready. I've got the sauce here. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, this is a reverse osmosis system. It's a large tank. And then it crosses over to a split system over here. And then it goes up here, and that's reverse osmosis. Now, I don't re recommend doing that in the middle of, of California because they've got, they've got a lot of uh, drought condition in California, and reverse osmosis uses too much water. So if you're in California or anywhere around the world that you're facing drought conditions, get a solid carbon block filter, okay? Or one of those gravity like the zero water filter that we have here. This is a gravity-based silver activated carbon filter that's, that uses the zero water technology, which removes a total of 99.9% uh, .9 of the total dissolved solids. 
You are such a good kneader. I'm going to do the stretch. I'll do the rest. Here. Yeah, I know. You didn't burn yourself. Did you? Once or twice. Do you have burns in your hands? Not big oh. a deal. No, no big burns. Okay. Hey, this is really nice. You did a really good job of kneading this, Sarah. Okay, that's one that's already... Uh, yes, this dough is kind of tough. That's just the way it is. Well, it's a non-carb dough. He says it needs... David thought it needed more water, too, but... Well, it's still okay. It had the proper amount of olive oil, so it's still working out. And whenever you're cooking, I would recommend you use a paper towel. Wiping your hands is very important. Okay, we're going to ask you to, China may only export cooked chicken products to the United States. While the products can be processed and packaged in China, the birds must be raised and slaughtered in Canada or the United States. I don't know. I'm a little bit suspicious that they're going to slip some wrap meat in there. No offense, but I mean, seriously. I mean, when you get the chickadee china, the Chinese chicken, you know, you don't know what you're getting. Well, let's be clear. Here, I've got a spatula here. You flip it over. Hey, she's flipping over the uh, pizza. There you go. Yeah, you can, you can do it. Let me let me add more oil. Sure. Flip it right over. Okay. So. It's okay. It'll continue cooking. I'm going to do the other one now. It shouldn't really have this ring on it, but I can't get it the wrong way. Right. That's fine. Let's just put this in here. Push it out a little farther. So I think we're going to go with 10 inch pizzas because the 12 inch didn't work out. So I'm going to readjust this. Go ahead and cap it up. Get five more minutes. We got to pre cook the crust in the new wave oven. We've got our nice salad, our pizza topper here. We've got our Olives, which I'm going to pop the lid off of the olives and start cutting them so you can't really put them on there when they're whole. Okay. Okay, while Sarah does that, I'm just going to cut these olives in, in little pieces. Can we do that? Sure. She loves cutting olives. So. She's going to do that while well, it's cool in here. we got a really nice temperatures here, like in the 70s. Down in California, it's probably 100, I'll bet. It's all good. I love the fact that we're making a little extended show because we had a little difficult time getting into the show tonight. Uh, we had uh, some technology issues coming out of the Bond server. Well, if we're exporting beef to China, and China is sending their the U.S. based chicken and being processed in China, it makes no sense to me why we would take chi chi U.S. chicken, send it all the way to China for processing and back here. Yeah, total censorship psycho behavior. Mark shut our viewer count completely down two days ago. And I don't want Chinese people, you know, salivating on my chicken, you know, and let alone eating rat meat. No offense to China, but I mean, when Donald Trump made that deal, it's like, what was he doing? You know what he got in exchange for us eating Chinese chicken? He gets 38 of his trademarks authorized in China. One of them is the Trump Escort Service. Now, you tell me why we have a person in the presidency who's running an escort service out of China. Explain that to me, please. It's too difficult to find an escort service out of the U.S. Apparently, escort services in the U.S. are a little bit pricey. I don't know. I mean... Did you know that you may have a pimp for a president? I mean, is that possible? How many of you believe that Donald Trump is a pimp? Press one. Psycho behavior thinks he's a pimp. How many of you have Morning Glory thinks he's a pimp? That's 
Jackson 69 says he's a pimp. New York PD says he's a pimp. Bingy says a scissor fight says he's a pimp. Jesus love, well, pimp. I wouldn't be surprised, Jake Jessica says. Zellfire believes he's a pimp. Thank you. You're voting again, Bingy. Bengalita says he's a pimp. Eat Glue says he's a pimp. He's definitely a pimp. And Jackson's laughing. <laughs> In a broad sense, yes. Well, you know, I can't understand how or why we would allow this guy to exchange 38 trademarks for Trump Enterprises in exchange for us getting Chinese chicken at our dinner table. I mean, it's unbelievable. What's wrong with this man? What's going on? I mean, why is Congress so, so slow in reacting to this corruption? We should have had a subpoena for his 10 years of tax returns by now. What the hell's going on? Is Robert Mueller like uh, meeting uh, J Steve O'Bannon in the bathroom? I've got a wide stance. Well, so do you, Steve. You know, what's going on? Steve, is that you? This is Robert Mueller. I'm in the bathroom stall next to you. Well, I'd like to discuss this Russian thing. I mean, you got to wonder what's going on here. <sighs> anyway, thanks for coming in and watching Sarah cut the olives. At the rate she's cutting them, we will be done cutting in about six or seven What's hours <laughs> well i like a little simple here, you know, <laughs> no 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 you go ahead i don't mind i mean i hate like we got the time and we i did. like little pieces like this we've you extended know? the show where we're extending the pan pizza show and i gotta change this to from 12 inches to something a little bit more realistic 10 inches well let's face it how many guys lie about their uh their you know size you gotta wonder and it wasn't 12 inches, it was 10 inches. Pretty soon it'll be 7 inches. <laughs> By the time it's cooked, it'll be a shriveled 6 inches. Yeah. Take your time. It's not like I have to work in the morning. I work all the time. Well, by the time we're done here, ma'am, it'll be down to 2 inches. <laughs> <laughs> was Russia involved in the assassination of JFK? New documents reveal. So wow. You're going to add... So you put all this on in the sauce, like you mix your stuff in your sauce. You don't do like a pizza sauce and then cheese and then toppings. You do all your toppings together in like some mush mash, and then you put your cheese. Well, what I do with a pizza is I pre-cook the onions because no one likes like raw onions on a pizza, and it's not going to cook that long. Okay, I'm just asking. Where do you, what do you do with the olives? Do you put them on top? We put the olives on with the onions. And, and first, go, well, no, first goes the sauce, uh, the red sauce, and then goes the onions, and then go the olives, and then goes the cheese. But the onions have the turkey bacon in them, and it's all pre-cooked. Well, you know that's an option. Olives on top of the cheese. Uh, what do you think, guys? Olives on top of the cheese. Yeah, I know. Olives come sliced, but we only had one jar in the cupboard, okay? And it was a 99 cent jar. So it's going to take her about five or six <laughs> minutes to cut each olive. <laughs> okay, I'll get the olives. I got it. I got it. At least I have some that have circles. Save the circle <laughs> ones for the top. Well, I've got a way of doing like leak three at a time. Go ahead. You can put the, the rest of them. Well, the thing about your olives. But are, is your sauce in here? Yeah. But there's no sauce. This is the sauce. It's already been pre mixed in the jar. Do you want to cook it? Do you need to cook the sauce? You want to cook the sauce? All right. Sure. What is in there? I got it. Okay. Let's get that sauce pre cooked in case there's any problems with uh, health code law. And just burn it in the tree. Sarah got me of the sauce. But don't mind me. I'm just going to zip these olives real quick here. Okay, anyway. I learned from the frugal gourmet Jessica and the galloping gourmet. The frugal galloping gourmet. And Julia Childs all at once. We had like a, tri a trilogy going in my cooking days. Oh. The frugal gourmet always kind of weirded me out. He really, this, bag yeah. audio? How is it a mistake putting the sauce in the pan? It was not supposed to go in the pan. So. I did put oregano in the sauce. It's all been heavily, heavily doused. Here, uh, I can turn it back down. Okay, we got another 10-incher out of the uh, 
out of the new wave oven. I wonder if you can get some mitts for that. Because that can be pretty hot, that new wave cooker. Okay, I did my, my olives in less than three minutes. Thank you. But yours looks so much perfect. One thing I, I really think, you can't skip on olives because it's like one of those ingredients. Can I have olives on my dinner? And they like go, put you three olives on a pizza. Sarah called oregano oregano today. I thought that was really funny. Now you're making fun of my three-minute man routine? Wow. So the Italians pronounce it oregano, but we call it oregano here. <laughs> okay. Would you like to... Yes. Come on up. More oil is done. Good. As she flipped it over, we got two pan pies. Pizza ready to go. Okay, bring it on over here and set it there. All right. I'm going to grab a spoon. And I'm going to just sit on the camera. Well, no, I can sit right on the Okay, now, would you like to take this nice mix of, of turkey bacon pre-cooked with the sauce and move it around and use half of it each one? Or I can do that. Okay, I'm going to do this. Here, I'll hold it. This has garlic, onions. Oh, you know what I forgot? The cheese. No. no. The pepper, the, oh. red, the red pepper. Well, that can go on top. Raw I mean, red pepper? Yeah, that's how usually pizzas are made. Okay, Sarah's really innovative, so pull that camera right there. Like, I've got this. this. Let me prep this. Find me my French cut knife. Um, yes. Thank you. I'm going to hold this I on. This. Hold this on the bread. Set it right there. I set it right there so I can so it's stable. Okay. No, like right here. So it's stable. Okay, this is going to have to be a thin dice because it's not going to cook otherwise. But it'll be fresh peppers. Sarah's extremely upset about any seeds. So if you see any seeds in this mix, it, it will stop the show right there just to get the seeds out of position. Because if she finds any seeds in this dish, she'll be a, a little upset. Well, I'll just take them out. No, it's more than that, Sarah. It's a seed issue. Well, you're... You have a seed issue. I've got issues. You've got it too. Okay, I'm going to do a very fine dice, about an eighth of an inch. Even the thing on the box has the red pepper on top. Oh, well, let's do the thing on the box. That's perfect. It's like the picture on the box cool. has red peppers on top and olives on top. So we're going exactly like the box. Not, no, we're not we're, because they just... Oh, different color pepper. No, they just slice them. They don't dice them. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I screwed up again. This is just an exercise in total failure. Okay, so we're going to put the, uh, the turkey bacon and the sauce on top like that. Could you get me the mozzarella? Yes, maybe. All right. Where is the other pan? Oh. Thank you. But you don't have... Okay, so Sarah's going to stop that on that. No, no, I'm okay with it. Let's just put this on. Where is on. the mozzarella? It's in the package. We just went shopping for mozzarella, so... No, I'm not going to eat real bacon, folks. If you're a Muslim, you're welcome to watch this show and make turkey bacon on your pizza. That's it, good. And if you're a Jew... Oy vey, have we got a pizza for you. Oh, hi, Amber. What's going on? Check this out. Organic mozzarella shredded cheese. Isn't that cool? 
David, it's about layering the cheeses. Do you think we have enough money with $5 budget to layer cheeses? Where do you think you were born in some rich country like America? Did you have a silver spoon in your mouth? Yeah. I'm going to get, get some of these. Should I put the peppers on after the cheese or syrup? Cheese yeah. first, then peppers? Yeah, I would think so. That's how yeah. most, most okay. pizza places do it. And the, I, the uh, olives after this? Yeah. After cheese, okay. We're going to do the cheese first. That's just how much pizza places do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put it all the way to the edge because you know you want cheese all the way to the edge, right? But if it goes over the pan, so this is a 10-inch pizza. That's good because we really don't have enough cheese for this. 10-inch pizza. Okay. Okay, I'm, I think I'm ready. Is that good or a little bit more? Yeah, here? no, that's good. I mean, okay. We don't have that much cheese. So. I know. You're so right about everything. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. We're spreading out the pep. And now I'm going to do these wonderful olives. And I'm going to have you throw this little sucker in that new wave oven. And how long did they say it took? About 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 or 15. Okay, throw that sucker on there. I'm going to eat that one. Mmm, good. Okay. Recyclable. We put that in the recyclable section over here. Sarah and I make a trip to the recycler every couple weeks. Deal with the uh, recycling issues. Thanks for coming into our, our delayed cooking show, everybody. Yeah, it's been almost an hour, and we're, we finally got our first pizza in the oven. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I think considering this is a big project, so it's a new wave, everybody. It's a new wave convection oven. We'll show you how it looks from a distance. This is the oven here and pizza's inside. And I think what I'm going to do is, while you're doing that, I'm going to prep the other show and get ready for Start of the regular show, and you can finish topping this one off. If you don't mind doing the completion, I can start the show over there. So we're going to finish off one pizza and show you the completed product here today. And Sarah will finish off making the second pizza, and then we'll have this ready to go. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. You did a good job. Yeah, put as much of the sauce on there as you want. And we'll go down to the, the homeless center and see if anybody likes it. We'll just take it over there and hand it out to homeless people. Actually, that's a violation of health code law. You're not allowed to feed homeless people. Yeah, the Democrats in their infinite wisdom said that people can't feed people food that's open. Yeah, isn't that amazing? There used to be a pizza store in my area that offered, uh, it was called Godfather's Pizza, and they closed down. But at the end of the day, they had this uh, all-you-could-eat pizza bar, and they'd have like 15 pizzas, whole pizzas still sitting there. And a friend of mine and I used to go by there and say, hey, what are you doing with your pizzas? And they said, hey, no problem. Grab some containers and take them home with you. Oh, so good. Well, somebody saw us doing it one time and reported it to the health department. And uh, and they, we came back the next day. I said, sorry, sir, we got to throw them in the dumpster. What? We've been coming by here collecting pizzas and taking them home and freezing them. What the heck is going on? No, the health code says you can't have pizza, sir. It has to go in the dumpster. Living large, man, living large. So Scissor Fight makes pizza with ground beef and sliced Nathan's hot dogs on it. That's a good idea. Yeah, that looks really even better than turkey bacon. But there's nothing cheaper than turkey bacon. 
Shrimp on pizza is good. Yep. So you can use any type of uh, meat item. In fact, you can go vegetarian completely if you want. Sarah's putting the uh, peppers, the, the orange pepper, on top of the uh, cheese. I completed the story, yeah. So we weren't allowed to go to the Godfathers anymore and pick them up, and they were going in the dumpster in these big bins that were contaminated with, you know, E. coli or whatever, salmonella. Well, we should open a budget diner at the White House. Yeah. I'm hoping I can open up a buffet and get everybody in there and have really good non-GMO food every day. Yeah, Sarah likes to prep food. She really is a good prepper. I've had uh, Sarah as a sous chef for some of my dinners, and she is outstanding at prepping food, slicing and dicing. Uh, today we're just doing olives, peppers, turkey bacon, onions, garlic, and mozzarella cheese with a tomato base that's kind of spicy because I add a little hot sauce to it. That cool. All right, and Sarah's gonna let that uh, cook and talk to you for a bit while I check on out of here and we're gonna see the finished product in just a bit. And then I will be ready to start the full on show, albeit late. Uh, we got the new wave as a gift from Sarah's mom and dad. But we have one of those buy one, get one free. I think it was actually, yeah, my. Yeah, buy one, get one free. You got two of them. Really? Yeah. So. The, it was free. My uncle gave it to my parents, and my parents gave it to me. Oh, that's cool. Well, there's nothing better than free, but that's better than free. When buy one, get one free. Okay, Jackson wants two of these pizzas. Hey, these are two pizzas, okay? All right, Jackson, we'll see you at the house in about... 10 minutes. Oh, 45 minutes. Uh, it'll be a long bike trip, Jackson. Yeah. I'll mail you... <laughs> Scissor fight wants me to mail him a slice. Uh, I don't think that's possible. All right. Well, as soon as that's melted and ready, I will be back in here with my white shirt on and my tie and ready to start the show, and I will show you what it looks Pretty like. Good. It's getting there. Let's overcook it a little bit. Well, that's the idea. Yeah. We like overcooked pizza. Um, I will get a plate to, pre to present this for you. We'll have our, our pizza plate. Okay, what I do is I put the pizza on here, and I cover it up, and I put it in the free in the refrigerator like that. So while I'm while David's doing that, I'll also clean. Up. We're not saving this, right? No. Saving what? No, I'm that's going in the grain. Yeah. I'll put this in the garbage for you, and I'll take that can for you. Okay. I'll do a little Thank bit of the cleanup. Thank you. We both do a little bit of the cleanup. That's nice. Okay, we'll send your driver to pick it up. I didn't know you had a driver, Scissor Fight. But like, send someone when you just don't feel like driving. My driver takes me wherever I go. <laughs> like, I can't drive, so I have my driver. All right. So you guys all having a good night. Thursday night, David's cooking show. We can talk about technology. I always like the links from Interesting Engineering. Those are pretty cool. I'm just putting my rolling pin away. And, uh, I think I'll put this piece of dress if it's good, then maybe I'll do that next week. But if it's not good, I'll leave that pizza crust in mix in the cupboard for another 10 years. Can't complain. How's your day going? My day's going really well. Yeah. So far, so good. Hang out with David. Did some shopping today. That was fun. Well, kind of fun. I'm not a big shopper myself, I have to say. Like I told you, I went and did some shopping. Um, mostly teach, so I'm fortunate to have the summer off, JJ, whatever. I am trying to get into JavaScript, JJ, whatever. Oh, that's good. David does love Caesar salad. 
and we have all the things for Caesar salad, but I don't know about the Caesar dressing. So I've never made Caesar dressing from scratch. You hate shopping? Spent all day learning XSplit because OBS is not good on Bond Live. XSplit does seem a little complicated. Maybe it, I don't know how OBS is. You like shopping in order to buy booze? Um, mainly elementary school, JJ. I don't have a master's degree yet, so I can't teach college yet. But once I get my master's, maybe I would consider it. I've taught everything from preschool through high school. Not full time, but as a guest teacher. I've taught some things as a full time teacher. Um, don't get my master's. Why not, Bengalitis? You don't think I should get my master's degree? No, why not? That's not nice, Joker's iron lung, and I don't think that's true. Jackson has a lot of interesting things. Yes, cooking. Definitely cooking. Looking delicious. I'm already good. I agree that I'm already good the way I am now, but what if I told you that I could make more money if I had my master's degree? Oh, thanks, Jackson. Yeah, I really, I, I enjoyed your video of your 30-mile bike trip. That takes a lot of work to do. Man. I, my hats are off to you, Jackson. I don't, I don't think I have that. In me. But, you know, you might not want to have a 30-odd students or maybe less, but. Oh, that is a good point, Bengalitis. David and I might have more arguments if I make more money. Because I might get uppity. Like, can't you just go? But I've always had a philosophy of, like, David doesn't have to work and I like to work. And I like to earn a little more money because then I'd have more retirement and Oh, sweet home 3D. Design your own tiny house. That looks cute. Let me see if I can dry off my hands to click on the mic. Well, he's already been able to afford organics, so the thing is, though, he just has all this uh, has all this old food that we have laying around and David hates food waste so no David does not have a master's degree he kind of does seem like I don't know. it is true that sometimes it seems anyway your wife has 11 weeks of vacation as a college professor. I wonder what I get. Uh, I have June 15th through September. Oh, come on. Be honest. August 25th, right? You well, have to be back yes, to work. I'm, well, I'm going back on August 24th for a full day training. And then pretty much the next week I'll be in the classroom. Um... I'll be in the classroom putting it together. You get 10 weeks. Well, 10 weeks here, then two weeks at Christmas, then one week for spring break. Yeah. So that's, that's a lot. Most people just get two weeks total. And I have, yeah. on top of that, I have personal days and sick days and whatnot. So is this ready to go in there? Or is it ready to come out? Yeah, it probably is. I probably took it too long. No, I think it's ready. Let's pull it out. 
I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start the show. I'll tell you when. We're going to stop this segment of the show in just a second. Yeah, let's go the extra two minutes. We got. Well, I think 15 minutes. I think it's awesome. My job's just getting started. Talking to the American people every night, doing what I love to do, talk politics. Uh, in case you didn't know, this, this so, the whole show started with me talking too much. And Sarah's saying, David. He does talk all the time. Yeah, and David's saying, I don't want to hear all this crap. I mean, you complain all the time about politics. Like every morning when he wakes up, I almost wish he had the show in the morning. Yeah. Like, it's like first thing in the morning when he wakes up. Yeah. He has something to say about something. Then today and on the car, I was talking about how I'm going to build my infrastructure bank and the method I'm going to use to build it out of the executive branch. And it's like, obviously, I I live and breathe politics. So starting the show on Blog Talk Radio, and I was talking to a dead mic for a, a couple hundred times. I mean, it seemed like nobody was listening. But we've got people who listen to our show and archive. And it's available at their our old site button if you click on that and then go to the radio icon. You can hear our 200 broadcasts uh, on the radio. But after about 20 broadcasts, I said, let's look into video. And that's when we got the... Uh... Well, someone told me about Blog TV. Yeah, someone told her about Blog I TV. Think it was my mom. Yeah. She told me about she had somebody yeah. that she knew that did Blog Talk Radio and Blog TV. Right. So her mom told us about Blog Talk, Talk Blog TV. We got on there. And we haven't stopped. Blog TV shut down. We had a million viewers. We brought them over to Vaughn, and they've been watching us and tracking our lives and seeing where we're at. And we're just average Americans doing the thing that we enjoy best, which is saving money. <laughs> or actually spending money, but saving it at the same time. I'm going to let you do the transfer right into the shuffle of the plate. Oh, yeah, shuffle it at the bottom. Oh, good. Okay, you can just set it on the plate. Just shuffle it right in there with this. This is the, the final product, everybody. Let me bring it forward here. Whoa, I got to get a better picture. Wow, look at that. Beautiful product. Just shuffling right on the plate. Now, take the other plate underneath it and set it on top. Oh, and then first she's now she's going to put this in, in the other, in the new wave cooker. Isn't there? There you go. And then she's going to cover it up. And that's covered for later. See how nice that covers up? And this goes on there for another 15 minutes and you're done. Ta da! Da 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 da! Well, thank you for watching our pan pizza extravaganza. And now we're in 15 minute record, probably one of our longer ones. I'm going to go in and start the show at the bottom of the hour. We'll be ready to go. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in, everybody. We'll be, uh, we'll be returning in a, in just about four, like two minutes to the regular show. Well, you could go in there and not tell me. Okay, we're going to sign off now for the recorded broadcast. We'll be uploading it tonight at 2 in the morning. Take care. Good night. Good night.